All right, so we're on the last leg of our boat switch installation here. We've done everything. We've physically installed everything. Now we're on the switching page. And what is the final installation that we need to do on our chart plotter? Uh, if you want to, you can add a boat image. Okay. And then you can pin your switches to that boat image so you can get a visual on what circuit's on. Oh, so we can actually actually move our navigation lights and see them positioned on the vessel oh, itself. Yeah. And you can use your image if you wanted to or just a or generic, just generic image. image. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's show how to do that. All right. So we're going to go into the options. Then we'll go to setup. We're going to edit the page. And now we're going to add a boat image. So we can either load one from a card if we had one. Okay. Load. And what's it? Like a JPEG or PNG? PNG, JPEG, yeah. Okay. Then we'll, uh, you can do a top view or a side view. We'll do a top view, kind of looking down on the boat. Um, we can go back. We'll show you what the other view looks like. So change. So we can change the side, change it on the bottom. Okay. Now we can go in here and edit. We can play switches. So we can go in here. We can place a switch. Say the horn, we're going to set the position. And we'll set that right there and we'll set. Now we're going to go to the nav lights. Set the position. Go to the anchor light. Set the position of that. War lights, we'll set that position too. And those images that we're seeing here, or the icons we set up, or those are predetermined once we name it. How how did we get the, to that point? Uh, those are what we pres what we already set up. So okay, so we that. yep. So now we've set all those and we can go back and we can close it and we see those there. So what will happen now when we turn on, say the nav lights, you'll see the nav light pin. Same thing with the anchor light, you'll see that pin. Okay. You know, your, you know, your underwater lights, it shows you what's on and what's not on. Okay. You have a quick reference. So yep. like if your bilge pump was running, you had this page on, you would see that your bilge pump was running. Okay, so it gives us a visual image. So if we go back out, if we go to home and we go back out, and let's just say that we were on our chart page and we wanted to go back to our switching page, we have vessel, oh look, so it's right at right the beginning there because yeah. we moved that before and now this will be our page number one. Same, and we can add... Same thing in your pen. So if you had your pen page up and you had the chart, You've got it right down on the bottom. You can just cycle over. We have that little carousel on the bottom, right. so we can just use use the left arrow to get to it quickly. Quickly. And now we can see it. We can also set this up in other combinations. Combinations, yeah. So. so, well, great. Well, that's the final installation of Boat Switch. Easy, simple switching solution for, you know, really a number of different size vessels. So don't just limit yeah. it per size. You saw what we did here. We've got a lot of open circuits, so we can keep adding to this. Yeah, I mean, if you had a bigger boat with flybridge, you just wanted to control just the switches that were up there, you could do the same thing. Okay. Well, thanks, Adam, for coming on the Garmin Marine webinar series here, and we appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you out on the water.